now let us see what is a major table that clears us the clear picture of different categorization of the minerals let us look at the classification of the minerals on a very large table so that it brings a clear picture for us how the minerals are categorized we have seen basing on the availability of the minerals where are they available what are the minerals available under which path they are available under which rocks they are available this is all we have seen just now but for us to understand it better the classification has been done by the geologist in the broader way like this minerals are broadly categorized into metallic and the non metallic minerals first major division is metallic and the non metallic division again the metallic we have the minerals divided into ferrous minerals non ferrous minerals and precious minerals in the category of the ferrous minerals ferrous is nothing but the iron the combination of the iron with the other minerals or the iron itself comes under the category of the ferrous minerals examples iron iron ore nickel manganese cobalt these are the minerals coming under the category of ferrous group the non ferrous group the non ferrous group are the minerals where we don't find the influence of a mineral called iron on them then it is called non ferrous group that is copper lead tin and bauxite these are the minerals where the influence of iron is not present moving on to the third category of the minerals that is precious minerals the precious minerals are gold silver platinum where here also the influence of iron would not be present and these are a bit costlier when compared to the non ferrous minerals so minerals are broadly categorized into metallic and non metallic metallic is again redivided into ferrous non ferrous and precious in the ferrous where the minerals are having a link of combination with iron are called as ferrous minerals they are iron iron ore nickel manganese cobalt well at the same time we have non ferrous minerals where the influence of iron is absent that kind of minerals are copper lead tin and bauxite when moving aside from the influence of iron and the a bit lower available cost minerals moving on to the costly minerals that are coming under the category of precious minerals they are gold silver and platinum these three come under the category of precious minerals now moving on to understand the non metallic minerals the minerals where the influence of metals is absent is called non metallic minerals example mica salt potassium sulfur and granite in these minerals you do not find any kind of hard elements of the minerals that's why they are called as non metallic minerals and now moving aside from the metallic and the non metallic we have energy minerals also available in the nature the energy minerals which are available in the nature are coal petroleum and natural gas so the minerals are broadly categorized into two prior to this but after the energy minerals are discovered the division has been gone to three fold division metallic non metallic and energy resources in the metallic as we discussed we have ferrous non ferrous and the precious examples iron iron ore nickel manganese cobalt uh, in the non ferrous we have copper lead tin and bauxite well in the precious we have gold silver and the platinum while in the non metallic where the influence of the metals is zero that is called non metallic minerals that uh, examples are mica salt potassium sulfur granite and moving on to the energy resources or the energy minerals coal petroleum and the natural gas this has brought us a clear picture what is a mineral what are the different types of minerals how the categorization of the minerals is done where are the minerals available for us broadly on a larger picture we have got a clear picture of this now let us discuss about india and a backdrop of available of the minerals india is a land where it is richly filled with natural resources 
India is having the natural resources at various levels. For example, because of the different land diversity nature of the land of the country, India, where you have Himalayas, where you have uh, fertile plains, where you have plateaus, where you have mountain ranges, where you have coastal plains, where you have mountain plateaus, all these things brought the wide variety of the minerals also available under earth, under different different locations and different different natural physical settings. For example, if you take at the minerals and below the minerals where the alluvial plain belts, you find categories of minerals. When you move on to Rajasthan, where is the dry land, the availability of various kinds of petroleum deposits, all these have increased. The Deccan Plateau and the Northern Plateau have given a chances for the availability of the other various kinds of minerals like magnesium, potassium, sulfur, granite and all these things. We also have in Andhra the gold deposits, the diamond deposits, the platinum deposits. We also have iron ore deposits in Karnataka. We also have nickel deposits. We also have cobalt deposits. We also have copper deposits. We also have gold deposits found in Karnataka KGF collar gold fields. So we have India, a land of variety where you have huge availability of the minerals. Now we shall discuss about the different categories of minerals and the places where they are available in India on a larger scale. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.